So I bring in all the wishes and greetings to Dr. Shiva Marora for scoring AML rank number two and CML rank number three in the specialty of DM cardiology in ENSS session 2023. Best wishes to you and congratulations to you. Thank you very much. Sir. So can we know your brief background history from where you started till date? Uh, sir, I started my journey in 2014 when I started my MBBS from King George's Medical University. Then I secured a rank 9 in NEET PG 2020 and joined Molana Azad Medical College. Uh, now I am currently in third year of MD Medicine and about to appear for my exam. And this was my first attempt for INI. So you are you, you are a rock star like an yesterday IPL match. Thank you. Back to back. Yes, you, even before you could complete your MD general medicine. Yes, and now yes, in your seat for DM cardiology is waiting. Where is it waiting? Yes, in uh, Ames, New Delhi, or in uh, in Chitra where, where is it waiting for you? Uh, I am more, uh, look, I will prefer Ames, but uh, once more I want to discuss with my seniors about it. So. And uh, it's a great decision. And so I think, uh, and, and, and definitely you need to uh, refer to people who have done uh, in Ames or Chitrathirnal, wherever they have done uh, through NESS cardiology, and you can have just go through it. And yes, there'll be a great decision to be made out of it. Now, can you tell me what all you did? What's the preparation strategy? All on you? When did you start? Before that, why DM cardiology? So basically, uh, there are multiple logical reasons, but the only reason uh, which I felt was I have great passion for cardiology from my MBBS days only. I used to search different ECGs at that time. I had something for ECG at that time. So I used to go to what's in my final year MBBS days and search for different ECGs, I used to report ECGs, used to ask my PGs about ECGs. So from that time only, I had some interest in cardiology. Also, my uncle is a cardiologist, so it uh, came from the, that also. Then, uh, during my first year MBBS, uh, I read Balthazar ECG book, and I used to uh, report lot of lots and lot of ECGs from my ward, from other wards. So, th from there it started, and then I used to uh, do uh, two D echo in second year. My one of my SR taught me how to do a echo because he did his fellowship in non-invasive cardiology. So we used to take the patient from our ward, used to do echo of normal patients. Then we started doing echo of pathological patients Then uh, started from there. Then I started preparing for DM in third year per se. So at that time I, I made notes, I revised them, I took tests, I uh, go through a lot of MCQs. And so uh, yeah, and the, some logical reasons might be keep, because it is a amalgam of intervention, ward, OPD, and a radiological aspect as well. So your journey started already, and this is this is only a completion mode. Yes. <laughs> right. So, I mean, you are already in the residency program. How much of time were you able to allocate for this, and how did you do? I mean, what all you did during that time? So uh, during the first two years, uh, most of the time we used to stay in the ward. So there was not much time for academics, not much time for theoretical study, I say, but uh, uh, on patients, we used to read a particular topic. Uh, if we have some uh, interesting case in our ward, we used to sit down and discuss in, in DDR and it started from there. Then uh, during the third year, uh, it was more of academic purpose, but during first, second year, it was more patient-based study, more clinical study, and we used to take the patient to Ecolab. We used to see the science there and started from there. Now, we used to conduct, or we are conducting the 12th edition of Brown Wall series, Bureaucracy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Were you able to go through those sessions and what's the, what is the impact on this tail exam? So, uh, not fully, but yes, I have seen a lot of videos. Some uh, videos on echocardiography was awesome. Also, uh, the videos on valvular heart disease, I uh, saw it from there and it was very well. Also, uh, the videos of Brown World 11 edition on biostats, it was very good. So, what was the impact of uh, 
ground walls 12th edition in this ini exam inss exam for cardiology uh, it gave me the confidence that because i was not able to uh, read the whole of the ground walls so it gave me the confidence that uh, it since the it was taught from brown world and it was taught uh, most of the important topics and most of the important lines of brown world were covered so it gave me the confidence to appear for the exam so the proportionate of questions were directly from brown world and how many questions were from brown world uh, uh edition can say uh, 20 to 25 questions were directly from there and rest of the questions were uh, mainly from the wards from the signs that you see in the wards from harrison and per se most of the questions were uh, too logical that you can you can solve 40 to 50 questions from your ward only paper was on the easier yeah. side this year the clinical experience yeah yeah yes. okay so how many questions did you attempt i attempted a whole 80 questions 80 80 so that is a game changer yes sir now I, it was my strategy from my ug days sir. in new tg i attempted 180 out of 180 questions then in neat pg i attempted 300 out of 300 questions and in ini also i attempted all of those so maximum questions maximum chances more opportunity yes, to go on <laughs> very smart and uh, what is the message that you want to give to your juniors and to go on to choose a specialty of dm cardiology is any ss the primary exam or an ets the primary exam for cardiology uh, so basically first of all for branch i would like to say that uh, try to search your passion instead of going uh, behind logics or using your brain first of all search where your passion is because it, because uh, when you will prepare for that branch you will have to make less efforts uh, and for cardiology i would say that it is a wonderful branch it has everything in it intervention wards opd and mm -hmm. radiological aspect as well so you can just go through it and after that whatever you have more interest in you can uh, make your future in that and uh, for preparation i would like to say that uh, just don't skip the wards don't try to run away from the wards and sit in the library and read for hours uh, it with the learning that you will have in the wards will make a long term impact and that will help you clear the exam as in INISS exam, it is more of a conceptual based, and they ask questions. They ask clinical questions. They will ask questions. They will. Ask, they ask this time. They ask six ECGs and a whole of the six ECGs I have seen in my ward only. So uh, that will make a great difference. And for exam, I would like to say that yeah, INISS and NEET SS preparation is different, slightly different, but uh, definitely uh, INISS examination preparation is slightly easier. I would like to say because. In that you will have to passionately study only uh, the subject you have interest in, and what? rest of the subject you you should have a basic knowledge about general medicine, and uh, that will make the thing easier. Great, doctor. Now it's time for you to thank whom all you want to thank. You can use this platform to thank whom all you want. Yeah, I, I would like to thank first of all my uh, teachers, uh, my consultants in my unit, and then I would like to thank Speed definitely for great videos for great mock tests and for great q bank that helped me a lot i also have this habit of solving a large number of questions after revising my notes so speed gave me a great platform for solving a, a large number of questions and the questions uh, were up to the mark that came in the inis exams great interacting with you doctor today Thank and you very much, sir. immediately after the results yes. once again we bring in all the wishes on behalf of Speed Medical Institute to you for a great career in cardiology. And for sure that you will definitely become a great teacher in cardiology, especially ECG, and also to make learning of ECG, EC, echocardiogram, and also uh, clinical cardiology as well. 100% uh, sure. Uh, really saying that, uh, sir, uh, there is a platform called white army i have some videos on that about ecg and echocardiography basics of ecg and echocardiography i taught in that platform and and i also invite you if you are uh, very keen and interested we will give an opportunity to you to teach uh, ECG, uh for speed students as well that would be a, a huge thing for me sir i'll just stay in contact after this interview sir. yes you can contact and we can arrange classes for you Thank you very much. And once again, best wishes to you. Yes.